So in this video we're going to go through the setup and start up of the Acer F15 laptop uh, from the initial first boot it's been plugged in and on charge and the battery is fully charged um, so here we go press the power button Now depending on how long this thing, this whole process takes, it's highly likely that I might chop some bits of this out for the video. Um, because this is going to be a pretty boring video anyway, let's be honest. Um, the only reason I'm putting this up is that some people might want to see what happens with regards to the process of initially setting up one of these when you first get it and take it out of the box. This is the first boot up and... Um, the instructions state that you need to have it plugged into power it can take quite a while for the first configuration so I might be chopping big chunks of this out and as you can see at the moment it's sort of got a nice little swirly whirly graphic at the bottom and it's telling you it's an Acer uh, Explore Beyond Limits Hi. Hi, computer. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you too. Ooh, lots of great features to get excited about. Just tell me you're going to rebuild the Premiere, okay? That's all I need to know. Anything else is a bonus. Start to experience Acer BYOC apps and services. I can only assume that means bring your own cheese. I might be wrong on that score. Okay. Righty ho, down here we've got Cortana. Ask me anything. We'll hold out on that one, I think. Build your own cloud. We'll skip that for the time being. And so far it's kind of looking like a, sort of like a Windows that, we're, that I'm used to. XP, Windows 7. Although it has got this kind of little uh, 
Windows Phone thing going on over here, which I might have to see if I can do something about that. Uh, depending on how I get on with this Windows operating system, I might I might just wind up um, installing Windows 7 on it. To be honest, because I've got Windows 7 uh, disk from my previous laptop, so I might just kind of wipe this and start again with Windows 7. Um, but if Windows 10 works okay then you know we'll stick with it and we'll see where we go from there. So I don't doubt that we're going to have um, quite a bit of you know associated bloatware and such but I think that's pretty much us. We're all set and uh, good to go. So I'm just going to do a shutdown and restart and we'll call this initial startup initial startup video done as it were so i'm just going to do a reboot now and that was actually quite painless and straightforward uh, as I say, there were a few points on there, such as uh, Windows using your location services and reporting this, that and the other and feedback and blah, blah and all the rest of it. And I will be finding out how to go into the settings and disable a load of stuff because frankly, I don't, I, I don't I'm just not into this whole kind of snoopware thing. And um, it's the same with uh, with smartphones now, you know, um, everything's sort of linked to this, use GPS to use your location and let Facebook tell everyone where you are and all this crap so no how about no so anyway a um, little overview while this is booting, booting up while this is booting up uh, Acer Aspire F15 F5571-50SO uh, Intel Core i5 processor and um, Intel HD graphics 8GB DDR3 memory 1TB hard drive 15.6 inch backlit LED backlit TFT display, nice and bright, so we like the look of that. Uh, there we go. And a little bit slow on the boot at the moment, hopefully that's just because it's the first time around. assuming once it's sort of settled itself down and sorted itself out this will be much faster There we are, um, similar kind of thing to most windows from what I can see so far, we've got the recycle bin up there, a few little icons, the windows start button down here, um, and then as I say the uh, well, apps here, file explorer etc, the only sort of difference really is this little windows phone window over here which I've got to say I'm not liking the look of that so far, um, ok on a phone. Not so pleased with it on the laptop, but anyway, we'll have a look at that. Cortana, uh, that's something, frankly, I can't see me using ever. Um, you know, everyone goes goes mad about this uh, thing on iPhone. What the hell do they call it? I don't even know what they call it. And then I know there's a similar one for Android as well. Never used either. Never intend to. I, you know, it's how hard is it to type something into Google? Seriously. But anyway some people might like that so there we go hope this has been useful for anybody wanting to see the process for a first startup of um, of this particular laptop thank you for watching